Hi, this is a walkthrough for creating a report DDP. Once we've activated and authorized our Loop Reports service, we can begin creating report DDPs. To begin, you must first navigate to the DDPs tab, then select the New button. This will take you to the Record Type page. We disabled the wizard for this example because a lot of the steps are irrelevant to report DDPs. But the most important thing is we must choose Report as a DDP record type. Next, we'll be taken to the Edit page. Here we can assign the report a name, then set the frequency. We can choose daily or weekly, which we can then choose the day of the week that the report will be delivered, or monthly, where we can then choose the day of the month the report will be delivered. Once we select that, then we can choose the time of the day the report will be delivered. Then on the right side of the Edit page, we can assign the report a file name. This is what the recipients will see. Then we can choose whether the output is PDF or the original file. Once we save that, we'll be taken to the detail page where we can then make some additional changes, such as adding an email template. Select the link and then choose a folder where your email templates are saved. And if, if you'd like, you can choose a template to include in your report. From there, you can then select a report folder by selecting the files drop down, choose the folder, and insert a Salesforce report into the middle grid. Then save and move on to the recipients list where you can choose a profile, role, contact, or user to add to the right side. Once all the contacts, users, profiles, and roles are entered in, you can save and then choose to activate the report. Alternatively, you can deactivate the report or give it a test run. Selecting tests will run the report and send it to all the recipients in the email to section of the detail page. Once the test completes, recipients will receive the report in their inbox where they can then open up the file and view the Salesforce report as it appears inside Salesforce. Now we're going to review some of the benefits of purchasing the business level of Loop Reports. The main benefit is the ability to use Excel as middleware. As an example, in this Excel file we can insert multiple reports into separate sheets, like Sheet 2 and Sheet 3. To do this, we must first add a new document to Salesforce, choose a folder to insert it in, select the file from our desktop, and give it a name. Once the file is saved, we can then navigate back to the DDP, choose the folder it's saved in, and then insert the Excel document into the middle grid in the Select File section of the Detail page. From here, we can then highlight the document and then choose the files drop down and select a report folder and insert one or several reports to the far right grid and assign them to different sheets within the Excel document. In this case, we'll assign one report to Sheet 2 and another report to Sheet 3. In Sheet 2, we are not going to manage any filters, so we'll get all of our accounts from Salesforce. But in Sheet 3, we're going to manage our first filter with a value of partner, so we only receive partner accounts. Then we're going to change the output from PDF to original so we get the Excel document back, save, and test run it. Now one reason you might do this is so you can get several reports into an Excel document and manipulate the data in an output sheet. This will make a sheet that's nice and presentable that you can send to upper management. Now going back to the recipient's inbox, we can download the Excel file, open it, and confirm that the report data has been inserted into Sheet 2 and Sheet 3. As you can see, all accounts from the Salesforce system was inserted into Sheet 2, and only the partner accounts were inserted into Sheet 3. From here, we can go to the output sheet and manipulate this data any way we'd like and send it to upper management while hiding Sheet 2 and Sheet 3. 
and that is the main benefit of the business level of service for Loop Reports. Thank you.